I just can't get enough of that. So my little fragrance haul from Dossier, it cost $87 compared to $300. I don't know how I feel about this one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey. I'm super excited to bring you guys more beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content here on my YouTube channel. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up and drop a comment down below. I didn't put on any fragrances at all for today's video because I just got my dossier fragrances in the mail and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to get into some first impressions and also fragrance comparisons when it comes to the dossier fragrances versus the luxury scents. I know for me, I love to try new things and I love dossier because you never have to feel like you have to break an arm and a leg to smell like that girl. Smell like luxury because they create luxury dupes at super affordable prices. All of these scents that I have are $29. $29 oh my gosh on dossier and I love that it's super affordable if you just want to test a fragrance out before you commit to the real thing which is what I tend to use dossier for they really be putting me on to amazing fragrances they also came out with their own creation like a dossier original so I haven't smelled this yet and I want to give you guys an honest first impressions on this scent and then we'll get into some luxury comparisons here as well so big thank you to dossier for sponsoring this video today because they are one of my favorite brands that i've been using like for i would say like two and a half years i've been obsessed with dossier and i just keep going back to them so this is the packaging of their original dossier fragrances I really like the pop that this box has and every scent comes with a pamphlet so you are introduced to the scent, you know the notes of the fragrance and a little bit of a background. So it says Dossier Originals, Unique Blends, Happy Sniffing. I really like these messages. So this one really caught my eye when I saw it on the Dossier website. So this one is a unisex fragrance, which is amazing because if you guys are familiar with my YouTube channel and my fragrances, I tend to lean towards more masculine fragrances. I like the warm notes. I just like the masculine vibes sometimes i don't want to walk around smelling like fruity and floral you know what i'm saying i like the woody notes as well so this one is described to be fiery leather and rhubarb like that just sounds delicious and it is an unconventional medley of raw materials florals vegan black leather accords and rhubarb this bold scent builds off each ingredient to deliver a balance of masculine leathers and feminine florals with notes of rhubarb top notes being rhubarb nutmeg and melon very interested to see how that combo is Middle notes being rose and saffron, and then base notes being black leather and vetiver. So this is described to fall underneath the embery and green category, which I've never had a fragrance be described to be green. Like, what does that mean? Is it earthy? <laughs> I'm not really sure. So that really caught my eye when I initially saw it on the Dossier website. And all their bottles are just aesthetic they look great together and it has all the description written out on the label so you know just what each scent is and like i said this was only 29 dollars so let's get into a first impressions of the original dossier fragrance it better be it no you can't smell oh oh i get the leather right away Oh my gosh, this, this is a nice gym scent. Like, I don't know why I feel that way. I definitely get the leather notes, but I also get this freshness that helps to balance it out. So I'm definitely getting the rhubarb next. Wow, I could see how this is a 
unisex scent because I could see a man wearing this and I myself can definitely see myself wearing this so this is very interesting because I don't have anything else to compare it to if you like vetiver in your fragrances you're going to love this and especially if you like the more masculine scents this is a great pick because it is very light like it's light but it's like whoa like you really smell good and kind of like cozy like I want to cozy up I don't know why I'm getting this mental image because fragrances do this to me but we have a leather couch at my dad's house and I just am picturing myself snuggled up on the couch with a blanket watching reality tv like living my best cozy life so I really like this scent and I also feel like this would be a good scent to wear in the summer like summer nights I don't know why it's giving me a summer day like I'm getting into a hot car with leather seats and a small hint of sunscreen like I don't know why I'm getting those notes but I really like this first impressions so let's move on to a little fragrance comparison because these are a couple of scents that are extremely popular and I don't have them in my own collection and I've never tried the dossier versions so this one here also retails for $29 on dossier and it is their gourmand white flowers fragrance this one is comparable and inspired by the Victor and Rolf flower bomb which I think retails for $180 $180 I mean that's not too expensive when you compare it to other luxury scents but $29 $180 so flower bomb the original scent is described to be under the warm and spicy category I've never smelled flower bomb um, which is like interesting so I'm happy that I picked this up from dossier to see if I will actually wear it and if I'll actually reach for it and it has warm and sweet gourmand notes and something about me I love gourmand fragrances I love sweet scents I love the warm I like the spicy that's kind of where I lean versus the floral and the fruity I'm not really big into a lot of those type of fragrances I just feel like they don't mesh with my own chemistry that well so the dossier version has 18% concentration and it is a feminine scent so this one has top notes of bergamot green tea fresca and berries the middle notes being the fresh flowers orchid and rose super floral and then the base notes including musk patchouli caramel and vanilla which is what i'm most excited for if it says vanilla if it says caramel i know it's going to be super sweet and that's what i tend to really gravitate towards i still smell that amazing leathery scent and i low-key want to put it on today but i must test these out first so let's get a little first impression wow that is extremely girly it's very like warm not like frou-frou like doing too much because it has that balance so I'm definitely getting a lot of that sweetness from the caramel and the vanilla first off, but I also got hit right away with the floral fragrances. I think this would be a great fragrance for springtime and summer, especially for spring. Just like daytime, throwing it on very light, very feminine, like you just smell sweet, but welcoming at the same time. Like it's not a heavy type of scent. So I can see why Flower Bomb is like one of the most popular fragrances because of how versatile and everyday this tends to be so like I said $29 versus $180 like you can decide I think if I were to use this and reach for it regularly then I could see myself purchasing this from the real brand and that's why I love dossier because there have been fragrances that I haven't really loved as much as I thought I did I wasn't using them as much so it saved me money in the long run having to commit to a very expensive bottle of fragrance finally we have the last fragrance that I picked up from Dossier this month and this one is an inspired scent from Lancome and in my collection I don't have any Lancome fragrances so this one from Dossier retails for $29 and the Lancome one retails for about $118 so this is the Dossier Gourmand Orange Blossom 
And I love orange notes. That's something that Dossier really put me onto was how much I really liked the orange fragrances. So I was like, oh, let me try this out because I think I might actually enjoy this. So this one is the Lancome Le Vie et Belle. It's Le Francais, you know what I'm saying? Hope I said that right. And it has notes of orange blossom, black currant, and hazelnut. Isn't that an interesting combo? With middle notes of orris, jasmine, and patchouli, and base notes being praline. Girl, don't get me started on praline. Very sweet, okay? Vanilla and tonka bean. So I'm hoping this one will also be a very sweet and cozy, yummy, delicious, but sophisticated smelling woman because those are the notes that I like when it comes to my Gourmand fragrances. And this is 18% concentration. The actual Lancome fragrance is described to be a summer garden party in a bottle. So that tells me it's gonna be extremely floral. So I don't know how I feel about that. So we're gonna find out in a second. And it says that it's exploding with floral scents of rosebud and jasmine with warm patchouli and vanilla cologne. As a base, this perfume for women exceeds classic femininity through warm floral fragrances. So it does sound like it has a good balance of being floral, but also so warm and sweet, kind of having that best of both worlds. So let's get into smelling this. I wish I had some coffee beans to cleanse the air. Ooh, wait, this smells very warm. I can't smell it. Let me put it on me. Oh wait, y'all told me my last dossier video, don't be mushing the fragrances together. Okay. Okay, I definitely get patchouli. First off, for the dry down. This one, I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm gonna have to give it a second to kind of marinate because it might be a little funky on me. <laughs> and that's okay, like not every scent is gonna work perfect for every woman just because I like something doesn't mean that it's gonna like you or you're going to like the notes it has a interesting scent so if you don't like a dossier fragrance maybe they have a 30-day money-back guarantee so it's not like you have to feel like you have to commit to something if it doesn't work for you because fragrances at the end of the day are so personal to everyone's body chemistry so I don't know how I feel. It has like, I'm getting the orange, but it's pulling very bitter. I think that's what it is. It's just pulling very bitter. And then you get all the patchouli and then like, wow, like the floral notes. So that's very interesting. It's smelling like a cocktail, like an alcohol. And like, and I'm gonna be very honest when I say like, when you're hungover and you don't want to smell alcohol <laughs> like it's giving very much so that so i don't think that's my favorite i think i definitely prefer the gourmand white flower in comparison but you never know like it might grow on me it definitely might grow on me i gotta get that leather scent on me as well i really want to get into this dossier original because this, this one was the one that i was like most like obsessed with this is just it I don't know like whatever they put in here you already read the notes with me um this is giving me summer vibes like yeah this they really did that with this one so I definitely recommend you guys check out the new Dossier original scents if you are into unisex fragrances and maybe you don't love the extremely feminine floral and fruity type of scents but you like that warm cozy feel definitely think you guys will be interested that is just like my I just can't get enough of that but like that's my first impressions of Dossier for their spring scents and I just gotta get into more florals i want to try more floral scents and find one that i love so if you guys have any good recommendations of a floral or fruity scent that is kind of warm and sweet that you are obsessed with put it in the comments so i can check it out and maybe dossier has a version as well so my little fragrance haul from dossier it cost 87 dollars compared to 
$300. Dossier really has the plug for you girls. So definitely check them out. I will link them in the description box below. And I have a coupon code so you guys can use it and save at checkout. So be sure to use this code and you guys can save some money off of your dossier purchase. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you dolls in my next video very soon. Bye!